human curiosity as the story, the mystery, there is an element of mystery in a lot of programs, I think is, is very strong. I want you to listen to this. I want you to listen to this because it's interesting and because I think you will be absolutely fascinated by this. Radio, which has no pictures, has the most powerful pictures because they are the pictures that we have inside our heart, inside our head. They are the pictures of feelings. If you don't have the pictures, use your mind. What can you do with the sound? And the sound becomes stronger without the pictures. If you have scenes, your documentary becomes a little bit like a movie. I give you the definition of feature I love most. Of course, it's mine. I have forgotten it, but was it? <laughs> For me, a good feature is not only made by the heart and by the belly, but also by the head. A radio feature is like an ocean. A good feature, it's like a song. The great feature can be like great restaurant. It has its own personal melody. It's a means of transport for information. It's the world I live in. <laughs> I love it. That means of transport can be a lorry or a rocket to the moon. The feature puts the question, how has it happened? Or why? One of the most interesting questions in life is, how could it come so far? You can do a feature about anything. Anything. There's nothing that you can't do a feature about. And the key is a good story. The rule in, uh, for feature makers is that there are no rules. Once I called a feature the prostitute of radio. Church radio makes feature. Women radio makes feature, but always using it for their own purposes. So there is no international understanding how a feature should be. There is an international understanding how features might be. Come in, everybody. We are starting the afternoon session. The IFC is a kind of conference of shoemakers. You have talks about material, tools, how to sell, all aspects of shoes. And that kind of stuff you can translate to documentary. I think if somebody who is not part of our conference, if he enters the hall where we sit, he really thinks it's a bunch of total crazy people who just sit, listen, for example, to even Chinese, we have that as well, and read the English translation. For an outsider, it looks really strange. For us, it's part of our reality and the link between us that we are all a little bit crazy here and we are all freaks and we all love radio and it might look for an outsider as if we are all quite crazy but I think we all like to be crazy. I'm not someone who is going into the streets behind a flag. Hey, vive a radio documentary. No, it, 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 it's stupid. It comes like it goes. But still, it's there and I always say radio is the only medium that can make us blush in the dark. I don't know what I mean by that, but it sounds well. Radio is the most sensual and sexy media. Because of this breath and the voice and the closeness. Now you and I, we sit so close to each other. I cannot lie to you now because you look into my eyes, you know. The distance you have chosen with this mic is you never talk to another person in that distance unless you're having sex or are lying in the bed close to each other or I'm whispering something into your ears. 
So, that's very special. And it gives a special communication, I think. And here are the big lions. Everything has been said, but not by me. 